Unreal Engine looks unbeatable. Insane graphics. Hollywood quality lighting. So here's the question most people are afraid to ask. If Unreal is so powerful, why don't all big game studios use it? Because the reason has nothing to do with graphics. And once you understand it, the whole industry makes sense. I'm not here to hate on Unreal. Unreal is an incredible engine. But I want to explain why many large studios either avoid it, modify it heavily, or build their own engines instead, especially for long-term, massive projects. If you want to work in games, this is something you need to understand early. There's one specific Unreal advantage that actually becomes a problem at scale. I'll explain that in a moment. Reason number one, big studios think in decades. Here's the first thing beginners don't realize. Big game studios don't think in years. They think in decades. Some engines are used for 10 plus years, multiple sequels, multiple teams, thousands of developers. When you rely on a third-party engine, you're also relying on their updates, their priorities, their breaking changes. Many studios prefer full control, even if it costs more upfront. Licensing fees for third-party engines add up, especially for big projects across studios. Once built, in-house engines cut long-term costs and share tools between games. Studios avoid waiting for updates from outside companies, like new hardware support or console changes. They can tweak features fast without vendor issues or roadmaps. Rockstar uses its Rage engine for GTA and Red Dead games to handle huge open worlds. EA's Frostbite powers titles from multiple teams, skipping external fees. Reason number two, custom engines fit the game, not the other way around. Unreal is built to do everything. And that's also the problem. Large studios often make very specific types of games like open world RPGs, massive multiplayer games, highly optimized shooters. They don't want to bend their game to fit an engine. They want the engine to fit the game. Off-the-shelf engines like Unity or Unreal work great for most, but blockbuster games demand specific tweaks for peak performance and creativity. Bending the game instead wastes time and limits innovation. Every big game has quirks, like intense physics in one title versus vast open worlds in another, that generic engines can't optimize perfectly. Studios craft or heavily modify engines to match exactly, squeezing out every bit of speed and smoothness, similar to tuning a race car for one track instead of a generic sedan. This avoids clunky workarounds that slow development. Custom engines let teams fine-tune code for their game's exact demands, like handling thousands of collisions per frame without lag. Think of it as customizing a kitchen for a chef's recipes rather than adapting recipes to a basic stove. It runs faster and feels natural. AAA titles shine this way, hitting high frame rates others can't. Forcing a game into an engine means compromising on wild ideas, like Noida's pixel physics or unique simulations that don't fit standard tools. Studios build engines to unlock their full artistic and technical potential, avoiding the frustration of making it work with hacks. It's like writing a novel without plot constraints from a template. That's why studios like Ubisoft, Rockstar, or EA often use custom engines designed for their exact needs. Reason number three, performance at scale. Unreal looks amazing out of the box, but big projects aren't about out of the box. They're about memory control, streaming massive worlds, performance on low-end hardware, long-term optimization. At scale, studios often need deeper access than Unreal gives by default or they need to heavily rewrite parts of it. At that point, you're basically maintaining your own engine anyway. Unreal charges a 5% royalty on sales after a certain revenue threshold. For indie games, that's fine, but blockbusters earning billions mean Epic takes tens or hundreds of millions, pushing studios to build custom engines for full profit control across multiple titles. Massive games demand extreme optimization, like seamless world streaming or hardware pushing graphics. Unreal's general purpose layers create bottlenecks for AAA needs. So studios modify source code deeply or build their own to strip extras and add unique features without waiting on Epic's roadmap. 
Owning the code lets studios reuse assets, train teams uniformly, and pivot fast for new consoles or tech. Relying on unreal risk delays from third-party priorities, as seen when Rockstar ditched renderware after an acquisition. Remember that unreal advantage I mentioned earlier? Here it is. Unreal moves fast. New features. New systems. New workflows. That's great for indie developers and small teams. But for massive studios? Fast change can mean broken pipelines, retraining thousands of developers, production delays. Big studios value stability over novelty. Reason number four, licensing and business reality. There's also the business side, royalties, contracts, negotiations. Studios fear sudden licensing changes as seen with Unity's 2023 fiasco that spooked everyone. Epic controls the roadmap, updates, and even source code access despite it being free. So a big franchise can't tweak the engine perfectly for sequels without begging for custom deals. Imagine outsourcing your company's core software to a competitor who might prioritize Fortnite over your needs. Building in-house, like EA's Frostbite or Capcom's RE Engine, means one big upfront cost but zero royalties and full control across projects. It's relatable to a family business making its own tools instead of paying Amazon a fee on every sale. Reliable for empires, not one-offs. More AAA teams now negotiate unreal deals or hybrid use, but many stick custom for predictability. Studios license the engine but don't own it, so Epic dictates updates, deprecates features, or changes terms, potentially breaking sequels or requiring paid custom support. No full source control for tweaks means franchises risk incompatibility, unlike in-house engines where teams modify code freely for IP-specific needs from prior, from prior. Related to leasing a car for your family business, convenient start, but the lessor can redesign it mid-lease, hike fees, or repo features, eroding your control over the vehicle carrying your brand. Custom engines demand huge upfront investment, but eliminate royalties and grant total IP sovereignty, ideal for predictable budgeting on evergreen titles. Licensing shifts risk to Epic's whims, prompting negotiations for waivers on hits, but smaller studios face perpetual dependency without escape clauses from prior. Big teams weigh this as renting versus owning a home, short-term ease versus lifelong equity. At a certain scale, it could be cheaper to invest millions into a custom engine than to share revenue or to depend on an external company long term. It's not about ego, it's about control and cost over time. So here's the real question. If big studios avoid Unreal in some cases, should you still learn it? The answer might surprise you, and it depends entirely on your goals. I'll break that down next. If this gave you a clearer picture of how the game industry actually works, Subscribe. This channel is about real-world 3D and game dev knowledge. Not hype, not engine wars. And if you want a clear roadmap for choosing Blender, Unreal, or other tools based on your career path, comment roadmap below. Learn smart, not just popular.